RPG a day, 2023, day 20. So uh, today the question is, we'll still be playing in 20 years time. Um, I'm taking that to mean, what games will we, will I still be playing in 20 years time? So, I don't know that I can necessarily pull this down to one game. Um, I had a, a good look at my shelves and I thought, yeah, I I think actually is a good chance that a lot of the games that I'm playing now, that I'm still likely to be playing, I mean, when I'm in my 70s, um, are actually probably older games which surprised me i thought it would be the newer games but looking at it i think I, and there's a few older games that i think i'm i'm very likely to still be playing in 20 years time um so thinking about which those are, are likely to be well like the first thing and like currently i'm playing quite a lot of it and therefore i might just be biased towards that but Old School Essentials, which is a modern game in some respects, but it's almost entirely, at least if you if you use the basic version rather the advanced version, it's almost entirely um, basic and expert D&D &D 1981. Um, and I wasn't expecting to be into it. I got it kind of out of curiosity and I have been blown away by how good it is. I've talked about it before. Um, of fantasy games of a kind of D&D &D style, I definitely prefer old school games, kind of combat as war rather than combat as sport, emphasis on exploration, more rewards for talking your way through a situation than for fighting your way through a situation, those kinds of things I really, really like. And Basic Expert, I have been really shocked at how all of the different mechanics work together really well. They support the style of play. They really drive the style of play you want. You can tweak it and change it, not really play it as raw, and play it in a variety of different ways. But if you stick to the actual rules as written, you get a particular type of game, and it's a type of game that I really like. So I think Old School Essentials it's nice and light. It's nice and easy. Um, it's well thought out. I, I I can see that being something that just continues to, to to come to the table fairly regularly. It's also got the advantage that it's got a lot of modules written for it. There's a lot of settings for it. There's lots of ways of changing it up that have been published for a long time and are still being published now. So that's definitely helpful. On a similar vein, I've got to say Call of Cthulhu. I really like Call of Cthulhu. I tend to use it for one shots rather than campaigns. Um, I've not had a lot of success personally with campaigns. I'm sure like, people I know do it, love it, I get it. I tend to prefer to, to, to run one shots. Um, again, system seems to just get up and get out of the way. I mean, we're on seventh edition now, we're not on first edition. I think the first edition I played was third. Um, but again, you know, it's a really early game. I keep coming back to it. I like what it does. I like the dread. I like the I, I like the mythos that sits behind it. And I like the fact that, you know, you can throw it in the 1920s. My personal favourite is to play it modern day. In 20 years time, it's a game that I can be playing in modern day in 20 years time, not playing the 2020s. Um, I think that will I, I think that will stay there. You know, I, a lot of guys that I talk to about systems who really get into the nitty gritty of systems. Um, there's a podcast I've been listening to called Roleplay Rescue. He's really into his um, basic role playing, which is the you know the core of Call of Cthulhu and RuneQuest and and all those other games. Uh, RuneSlinger, likewise, big BRP fan. I think the system stands up. I think we will probably be playing ninth or tenth or eleventh edition by then. But I think twenty years time, I think Call of Cthulhu is is one that will keep going. The one which isn't quite so modern, which I really hope. I'm still playing in 20 years time and I'm hoping I'm playing more in 20 years time than I am now is Hollow Earth Expedition. Um, I love Ubiquity. I would so love 
someone like Triple Ace Games to get the opportunity to pick up Hollow Earth, do a second edition, just take the few rough edges that there are on the system, and there aren't many, um, just tweak it, sand it, and, and get it out there. That would be that would be fabulous. I think if we do get a second edition of Ubiquity, I really hope it's still around in a long time because I think it's a great system. Hollow Earth, the the nineteen thirties pulp thing is is really good. Um, you know, there's a Leagues of Adventure uh, scenario they announced yesterday. I think it is about being fired out of a giant gun to the moon to find out what happened to the last group that went. That sounds awesome as well. But Hollow Earth Expedition, I love that 1930s vibe. I think I'm still likely to. I think that's still going to uh, appeal to people in 20 years' time. So, yeah, I've cheated. I've picked three. I think those are the ones so far of, of what I've got on my shelf. Those are the ones I keep coming back to. And other games that I really like, I'm really enjoying. I'm not sure I'm still going to be playing in 20 years' time. So, anyway, I think it's quite a long one today. So, uh, I shall disappear. Have a good day, and um, I'll be back tomorrow.